guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another makeup therapy video um one person commented on my last video and was like we want more so you know i have to give the people them what the people them want <laughs> so first things first you know we have to start with sunscreen um i'm using a different one from the one you saw in my previous video this one is called Sunprise, but it's still a Korean brand. I like it because it's a little bit more mattifying, uh, but same price and yeah, same benefits. I think here I was zooming in for you guys to see my hair. I just got my hair done. And yeah. <laughs> then I'm going in with this Maybelline Luminous Smooth Hydrating um, Primer. I will always zoom in for you guys to see the effect of the primer. So this one is very hydrating, very shiny, luminous -y type. And that's kind of the look that I was going for on this particular day. I don't know if it's just me, but like when you get your hair done, your face is just so bright. So I was trying to take advantage of that. And then here I am just going in with some powder because I feel like the powder before foundation helps with like mattifying the foundation or making it more full coverage so i actually got my eyebrows threaded and i feel like that lasts longer and it just looks brighter and better normally i would just shave my own eyebrows like i said in my last video but um if i can get this i normally prefer to get that done so the focal point of today's video is this mac ruby woo red lipstick i'm gonna swatch it for you guys but as you could tell it's a very red very wine brightish red i used to do this back in 2018 i used to um use my lipstick as a color corrector because i couldn't afford to get like another concealer to color correct so what i do is i put it on my dark marks i put it on my pimples or anything that i feel like needs to be color corrected i know i look crazy and then i let it sit it is a matte lipstick but i just let it sit for a couple of minutes as i go back to um finish up on my eyebrows to be honest with you guys i'm not a lipstick girl i'm more of a lip of a lip gloss honey i prefer something that's easy and like i can just reapply and honestly i feel like matte lipsticks are also very drying but i really don't have that effect with this one it feels very velvety on my lips this and um, milibachi and huda cosmetics vamp are my go-to red lipsticks like that's it the next step is to cover those lipstick spots with some concealer um, just look at how full coverage that is that's pretty much the same effect that you would have with like an orange color correcting concealer so I've just created my own orange <laughs> I'm now covering my eyelids with concealer cause I wasn't sure if I wanted to do an eye look but I was like just in case I decide to get creative let me pave the way for that also guys don't mind my voice um i'm recovering from a sore throat so i sound like a broken record to be honest um but anyways i'm just going over the concealer i'm gonna zoom in for you guys to see how full coverage that is it's basically like i've corrected the dark mark that was there so this is just the effect of mixing red and concealer you get your own little orangey color correcting um effect you guys have seen this foundation before but it's my revlon color stay liquid foundation and i just wanted to say that i feel like if you have oily skin like me then liquid foundation is probably better a better choice um and then if you have more like dry to combination or dry to normal skin then creamy foundations like black opal would work really well on you however my best friend has used both and she she, she kind of slayed both so i don't know this is just something that you have to try and test and see what you prefer for your skin so in my last makeup therapy video i was telling you guys how i find it very therapeutic to perform any act of self-care or to watch someone else do it and looking back i realized that there's something else that i find very therapeutic and that is talking I'm a communicator and I enjoy communicating. 
in whatever way shape or form so whether i'm sitting down and just listening to someone talk about something that they love or i'm talking about something that i love i find that to be a love language like can we just share our minds you know like tell me what are you thinking what's this book you're reading you know i just find it very therapeutic to talk or to listen to someone else talk and i kind of i'm getting to the point where i kind of feel like as adults we have to go out of our way to find things that we enjoy doing that are not attached to any productivity that are not attached to any performance appraisal that are not attached to money like okay wait pause i had to show you the song because i think that's what i was jamming to and i really enjoyed it <laughs> so yeah as much as i enjoy working i enjoy you know having something that i i wake up to do every morning and i'm i literally went to school for this i'm enjoying it it's just that as you get older i think you start to prioritize the things that do not bring you money and are just because like there's no productivity that's tied to me sitting down and filming a video about my makeup routine absolutely none but do i enjoy this heck yes i love to talk i love to listen to people talk so if i can do those two things that are therapeutic for me which is makeup and talking i'm gonna do it i'm gonna spend a saturday morning just talking about makeup and i just feel like this is the balance that I've been striving to strike as an adult where I can do both. I can be boss babe Monday to Friday, but at the same time, when I get home at 5 p.m., I'm going to do very girly things that like have nothing to do. Like I can switch off my brain and just create. I think that's the word is to create. I think we were meant to create, create to topics of discussion, create colors and beautiful things and art and i think there's a way that capitalism is wired to stifle our creation and when it is using our creation it's using it in tandem with profit making and i think there's something that's very devaluing about tying my creativity to a profit because it's like you cannot get this you cannot buy this this is god-given this is divine there is no price tag for what it is that i'm creating because i create because i am you know and i think i've just been having a, one of those really rough weeks where i'm like i love it here i love to afford nice things but i hate capitalism <laughs> And I know that people often say that you need to find something that you love doing and make that your work and then you won't you won't hate going to work anymore. But I don't think that's true. Um, the minute you attach some kind of bureaucracy, some kind of politics to something that you love doing, you begin to hate it. At least that's been my experience. And I've also witnessed a lot of content creators talking about how the minute that their vlogs started to be vlogs for sponsors you know always performing always doing something so that you know you're you're tying your content creation to something else so that you can make a profit they often get tired they get burnt out i've seen only bells talk about this joanna Kinutia talk about this they even have to start taking breaks because it's like oh my god it's just this is not what i wanted you know and I get it. I get that this is the world we live in. You have to afford a living. And sometimes you have to use the things that you love to be able to afford a living. And it's probably, it is better to do something you love to be able to afford a living than to do something you hate, of course. I just think that it would be a lie to say that it completely takes out the dissatisfaction that sometimes is attached to creating for a profit. Anyways, now that that's out of the way, we can get back to my original topic of discussion, which is makeup therapy. And I was just trying to highlight for you guys the importance of finding things that don't take anything from you. Like I was saying, in this part of adulting, we're all trying to upskill, we're all trying to learn a new thing that can help us make money, that can help us stay afloat, that builds our career, that... We're just doing things that of course are amazing that you should do but I think I'm learning now to strike a balance between the things that I love to do and the things that I need to do 
and if I'm gonna need to do anything and I must do something of course I want to do it in the way that I enjoy it so there's nothing wrong with making money and profiting from your creativity and your hobbies um, but at the same time like if you're a creator have days where you just create just because like there's no other thing where you're just creating because you you are you know and I feel like that's one of the ways in which we really express the glory of God is by creation, by writing that song, by expressing yourself, by writing that poem, by just, I don't know, just being. And I, I think everyone should read the Purpose Driven book because it really highlights the fact that we were created just for God's pleasure and just for God's delight and living in the rat race that we are living in in this century. I think we can get caught up in performing, in productivity, in amassing wealth, and doing all these things that are great, that you should do, that if you can do, and we neglect the fact that we, sometimes you just need a Saturday to just be, so that's what I'm learning to do now, I'm balancing, so today I'm indoors, I'm just doing my voiceover for my little YouTube video, and I'm happy, <laughs> I'm honestly so happy. Unfortunately guys, when I was moving the footage, I lost the one of me applying the lipstick, but I basically just, I think I loved it, as you could tell. I basically lined my lips with eye pencil, and then I applied the lipstick, and then I did that little powder trick with the tissue to kind of make the middle part pop a little bit more and to make it more matte, um, although it is already very mattifying. So now I'm just going in with the final touches to finish up the look. A little bit of highlighter here, some spraying there, some powdering there. So just trying to bring the look together. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed filming this look for you guys. Everything about it has been therapeutic from the day I whipped out the camera to the weeks after that I did the voiceover. I think I've really enjoyed making this look. <laughs> and my little rant everything so i really want to thank you for being part of this thank you for watching so far if you like this video please like it please comment please share let me know what are some of the ways in which you know you find some therapeutic moments throughout your day throughout your year and if you have any looks that you would like for me to try out, I'm definitely not a makeup artist by profession. This is strictly something I just enjoy doing for fun and for the vibes. But I could be willing to try some things out, so let me know. Unfortunately, at the moment, I'm not able to do the more engaging videos that require me to like sit down and plan and sometimes write scripts for. But... They will be coming soon so please stay tuned make sure that you're subscribed and so this is the final look i love it oh my goodness just looking back and i'm like yes girl eat it up i made sure to switch off the lighting for you guys so you can see what it looks like in natural lighting i've zoomed in i've i'm showing you everything child so i hope that you like the look let me know what do you think what do you think <laughs>